feel like I'm just not even here. I just am somewhere else completely. I don't even think about anybody else. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I love the liter lyrical jazz style. And um, I think the best part of his class is his uh, warm up. You just can't beat that warm up. You feel so good. And, um, and of course, the choreography is beautiful. His greatest devotion is to teaching and correcting and, and bringing his experience. It's the only thing I do for myself, and I find it's incredible for my, both my physical and mental health. And the older I get, the more important it is to me. And when I'm here, my brain is totally focused on what we're doing and everything else in the world is somewhere else. I come a long way to be with Hama, but I think he's just one of the icons of dance. And I think he just brings so much to me, just both physically, mentally, and he's taught me so much. And I have yet to find a teacher that is so giving, uh, just has such expertise, and is so willing to share. Happy birthday, Hama, by the way. I do want to say happy birthday to you. And you better never retire. Because I would miss this class so much, I cannot tell you. It's my sanity, it's, 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 I, I love Hama and thank you so much for all that you give to us. And um, there are so many times when I would be a crazy person if I wasn't able to come here. <laughs> keep on dancing and keep on teaching because we love your class and uh, you make us look good. <laughs>Hama's always said that he's an independent person, and he seems to have been that way from early on. My father told me one day, say, don't complain. You have to learn not to complain. That's the most important words for me, don't complain. Much worse than this people went through. Some people die for this, you know. What a luxury I have. Dance. You know, dance, talking about dance. He grew up in Japan. He was born there and he's uh, native Japanese and uh, he grew up during the war, Second World War. When I see soldier come back with a wounded body, burn a uh, disappearance of your home in the middle of the Tokyo, I see the reality. Hama's very resilient and very strong, but I do think from the subtleties of what he says that it what must have been tough there. No luxury, just to uh, survive. We, if you have one light in my house, you're lucky. Uh, water is running, you're lucky. With war, you can encounter changes and tragedies. So I think that's how he got his independent streak, that he just felt he had to decide what was best for himself and to pursue that. Uh, audition for this uh, Toho company. It's the largest entertainment corporation. He was getting great roles in dance with beautiful girls and everything. And he decided, because he was an independent person and because he was curious, he decided to leave that and go to America. I say, I don't want to copy. I, don't, I want to know real stuff. Once I went to New York, I never look back at Japan. Hama took a cargo ship over from Japan over to uh, San Pedro in Los Angeles and he came with a, one other Japanese dancer. After three days in Los Angeles, uh, I took Greyhound bus to New York. They really didn't know too much about America or uh, how to get around. They had limited English ability. Only I ate order of food is Hama and egg because my name is Hama and I can say the egg. From the bus ride from Los Angeles to New York, all he ate was ham and egg sandwich. <laughs> you can laugh about it now, but at that time it was nothing but uh, insecurities. <laughs> he had to take jobs that were in kitchens and in restaurants. So job in the art, job in the dance, 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 job, and then job. No choice, whatever you get. And he had to do things like wash dishes and cut chicken. I tell myself always, 
something better than this. Yeah, then I didn't come for uh, work in a, behind a, a, you know, back in the kitchen. He had the story where the lady who ran the restaurant said, wow, you're good at cutting chicken. <laughs> you're fast. <laughs> And Hamas thinking, I didn't come to America and leave my home to come and cut chicken. <laughs> Primary, I came here for uh, what can I do in a jazz dance uh, training. So always focusing the uh, enormous energy to put in uh, training myself, taking ballet class, jazz class, whatever opportunity I can pay for. So all of my focus was in. Uh, dance. All kind of opportunity came around and I tasted big stage, small stage, Ed of Sullivan show, television that time it came along. Uh, the peak was uh, I had a solo dance in a Broadway show called uh, Education of Hyman Kaplan, Mr. Jaime Rogers choreographed. I think that's the epic of my life. You first came to me you were like a, like a spring chicken and that was in 1964, without a word of English, Hama, without a word of English. Now here you are dancing so fantastic and speaking almost as good English. So how do you like that? Luigi is one of the great classic jazz masters. Uh, he has his own style of jazz. He's also a very warm and, and giving teacher, and I think Hama learned that from Luigi. Warmness kindness, personal friend of my father of my art. First time I saw his movement in a class and telling myself, oh, he's going to be my teacher. This is nothing to do with any reason but my sense of uh, uh, dance uh, beauty. I taught a master class in California in 1973, and Edith Jane at Falcon Studios said, well, Luigi, what are we going to do about your technique when you go? I said, well, I've got the perfect man, perfect man. He's fantastic. He's the best. Hama, that's my number one son. My eyes was grew onto him. I look, observe, still. Still, it's a bad words, but the thing is, good things is a good things. You have to you see if you if you if you see beautiful things, and then appreciate, then you become a beautiful person. Behind the dance, if you don't have a heart, you're just a moving machine. You learned from me in 1964. Now you're replacing me, Mama. Okay, now you have your own thing. Now you have your own thing, which is so exciting. He say, Hama, my past life or might be a Japanese, I think, he say. I say, why? Because I love Japanese people. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's a wonderful person.